We've been, We've been learning about rips and how to swim and we went to the pool and um like and done freestyle and, and how to see if there's a rip or something? Yeah. I've got three kids that have been through the program before and they have learnt so much from this program. My kids didn't even know how to swim and even to communicate with the other kids instead of being at home and playing PlayStation and things like that. They have got so much out of this. This program is about strengthening swimming skills and teaching young people surf awareness about the knowledge. Um, the reason being why we focused on Balambi is that their backyard is the beach. And we've also identified that there's a lot of young people that leave primary school, one in five, that cannot swim 50 metres or float. So those two things are very vital to be able to save yourself in the surf. There's a rip, if there's a rip, there's a bunch of white wash coming in and then you'll see a gap in there. But that gap will slowly ease out and that's a rip which takes you out but eventually you get whitewashed back in. That's what surfers do. Yeah. The Lambie Surf Club members noticed that a lot of local kids couldn't swim. Then the Lambie Neighbourhood Centre discovered the same thing and they were concerned so we had all the community got together and we managed to get the local bowling club to put money into the project so that we can run the beach side of the surf awareness plus take kids to a pool and learn to swim. And, and they've been teaching us how to um, yes. float, swim, dive. And we've got children from Balambi, Coromel, and we go as far as Yenandere. There's some kids that are coming in from Yenandere with the Care South team. They're transporting them in each day. And they're all you know, kids that probably wouldn't be experienced as normally. The reason why we got involved is um, my older son, basically, his confidence had been knocked down a lot. You notice that, that within the two, three days of actually doing it, that his confidence had actually soared and gone back up. It's pretty good because, like, you get to go surfing and, like, do sort of stuff that your parents would really let you do. It's like social skills, like, so if you're on your own, you know what to do in case you're stuck, and, well, to have fun. My 11 year old, he was like an octopus swimming and I could never, t I couldn't, I tried so hard but I just lost, I kept on saying you know, I can't teach you, your arms are everywhere but now he could swim the whole length of the pool. Like I've learned a lot of new skills in the surf. The other benefit we have got out of it is that the kids, the locals are accepting the surf club as part of the, their community now. Before we ran the project last year, this surf club has been attacked, vandalised, graffiti. It was like a war zone. Straight after we ran the program, it all stopped. So we're engaging with the youth of the area and they're engaging with us. Lots of people have gone to the beach and not known about rips and stuff and they have drowned and stuff and I think it's important for everyone to um, have access to people that can teach them how to swim and teach them how to be safe in the water. Coming down and seeing the children and seeing like the positive atmosphere with all the kids that they had and seeing, wow, this actually works, this really works. The more we keep on going with this program, the better. The more lives you think about it are going to be saved of actually having the knowledge of knowing what to do. I reckon there should be at least the same program in every life-saving club so everybody can enjoy it, not just us.